let's work on the concept of returns to scale in this video. So recall that we have our production function which depends on capital and labor. Now what we're trying to understand with returns to scale is how will our production change if we increase our capital and labor by the same proportion. And we know that in our function by the same constant, by the same constant C so to speak. This is going to be the proportion but we, by which the capital is increased or is decreased. Maybe, maybe we're just reducing it in half and we want to know how the uh, production is going to change. But we are changing the capital and labor by the same proportion. So because we're changing it by the same proportion, it means we are varying both inputs, meaning that if the inputs are variable, we're speaking about a long run concept. So let's write that down. Because the capital and labor are varied by the same proportion, by the same pro portion we are speaking about a long run a long run concept long run concept now we have three cases here for the returns to scale i'm going to describe them right now so the first case the first case i'm going to do it over here the first case is that the new output the increase in output is going to be higher than the increase in input so output increases more than how much we increase the input is greater than the increase in input so in that case we are describing the scenario of increasing returns to scale increasing returns to scale so we are increasing the scale by a certain proportion the capital and labor but then the return on it is even higher that's why it's increasing the return is increasing than what we put in uh, let's have a look at the second case the second case would be when they are when they are equal the increase in output, the increase in output is going to be the same as the increase in input. So because the change is the same, the change is the same, we're speaking about the scenario of constant return to scale. Whatever we scale the capital and labor, the proportion by which we scale is going to be the proportion by which the return increases. So it's the constant ratio between the two. Hope this makes sense. And the last case would be when the increase in output when the increase in output is going to be less than the increase in input. So we are going to increase our scale of production, the capital and labor, but then the return is, gonna, is not going to be worth it. We're going to increase the output very little. It's going to be much less than what we increase in the input. So the, we are speaking about the decreasing returns to scale, decreasing returns to scale. So we increase the scale, but then the returns are falling relative to that. They are less than what we increase the input with. Hope this makes sense and we are done.